Welcome back guys to another video. Let's talk about ARK Invest and also what these guys are purchasing once again. And it's a stock that we are investing and a lot of us have been buying. But of course, ARK wasn't really buying this company for a very long time until recently. There's a pretty big order that came in for it. And now everyone is getting super excited over it. So the reason why everyone is so obsessed with what ARK is purchasing is a lot of times when they consistently purchase the stock, there's usually something behind that and usually it goes up. I mean, their track record is incredible. I mean, I've been looking at ARK's you know, stocks, what they're buying, and what I've noticed is when they keep buying a specific company, after a while, it goes up. So what better way to find your next hot stock than find some unusual options or unusual volume activity? So ARK Invest, long story short, is buying a ton of Palantir stock. Around January 14th, it was said that they bought half a million shares of Palantir stock for their ARK W ETF. And if you just click into Palantir, you clearly see that they increase their positions dramatically. In the very beginning, they bought Palantir virtually a few times every week, but they're super like slow about it. But only recently have they actually shot up in the amount of buying volume which is really weird because recently we got a pretty big downgrade and we also have a lot of people saying how Palantir, you have to sell the stock. But ARK Invest ignores those weird price targets and they're insisting to buy even more. Just look at this. Every day they bought a little bit and a little bit of Palantir, but only recently did they bought a bunch of shares of Palantir. Half a million shares in a single day is really, really suspicious in my opinion. It also could mean because Palantir is a really good company and they already corrected themselves from around like 29 30 $31 and they simply want to buy the dip. And if you check out the pre-market, Palantir is up like almost 6%. So something is definitely up with Palantir. And I think ARK Invest knows that and this is why they sit in such a big buy order. Now, when ARK Invest sit in a big buy order like this, the share prices, 99% of the chance it usually goes up in the next couple weeks or even the next couple days. They did this with Flare System stock, which Flare Systems is now at an all-time high. They did have Open Door stock, Open Door stock went up. They bought them dips massively on Fastly and Peloton. And now those guys are up. So the track record is really, really good. So why are they buying Palantir? This is a pretty weird stock. Palantir has been extremely flat in the past several weeks, but ARK just feels like it's the perfect time to buy Palantir and they absolutely increase their positions by a large amount. So what is Palantir? Palantir is a software company or AI company, however you want to call it, that essentially if you have a ton of data that you can't read, which is very, very common in massive institutions and companies, because you simply can't read that kind of stuff. It's just so complicated. So they feed it into the Palantir machine or the AI system, and it comes out with like really good real-time decisions. Essentially, let's say you're trying to open a business or trying to maximize employee efficiency in your company, you put in the data into Palantir and they'll come out with different connections. It will answer really complex questions. It will analyze the data, put it in charts and really simple terms, and then they give it back to you. That way, when you look at the information, you're like, oh, I see, I need to work on this part of my company to improve sales and efficiency. Be like, oh, let's see some competition around the region. That is a lot of competition. It will draw a lot of data and also give you information that you need. Everything's really stable and nothing is really complex. So this is why a lot of companies like to use Palantir. And the cool thing is the people who use Palantir, they actually keep using Palantir because it's a really, really good company. Now half their contracts and half the money they make come from government institutions and their government contracts. But recently they are trying to reach out to more privatized companies and be like, hey, try to use our software, it's actually really good. And they're working with really big companies like Airbus to maximize employee efficiency. And Palantir recently, was selected to deliver prototype for Army Ground Station Modernization. This is pretty big and the contract value for this phase is $8.5 million. It's not a lot, but it's actually pretty decent, but the approximate value is $250 million over all four phases. And this is pretty nice. And Palantir was awarded a phase one project agreement. So that's pretty nice. And this isn't like the first Army contract Palantir had. This is like the second, so they're working with the Army very, very closely. I'm really excited to see what Palantir has to offer, especially how they do have several different products. They're also working with like, you know, the pandemic tracking. They're working with like other governments with the overall pandemic. So it's pretty big. They have several different products. 
and a lot of companies seem to like Palantir. Now, there's some pretty cool things about Palantir recently. It's because one of the analysts is saying how Palantir is going to be a pretty good stock. It's going to $30. Now, this is from the analyst Brent Dill from Jefferies, which I actually really like. They do a lot of price targets, ups and downs, buys and sales. And Jefferies is saying buy and saying how the reason why is Palantir has a very special software and it came out of the end, Palantir isn't special and doesn't get a lot of really nice things out. And if their product isn't unique, then you wouldn't have major government institutions using Palantir. I mean, they're so trustworthy to the point that the army continuously use Palantir services and also work with them. So this is also pretty big. And $30 is the price target of Palantir from Jefferies. Now, Palantir beware because you do have city analysts cutting the price target to sell valuation. And they actually are saying sell the stock because the share price is already up so much. I don't really think that should be the choice. So here's the thing. There's a pretty big battle going on among the different analysts and hedge funds. I don't really think you should pay too much attention to that since Citigroup and Jefferies have completely different price targets. You got Jefferies saying how it's really bullish and it's going to $30. And then you have Citigroup saying how you should sell the stock, get your money out and invest in other things. And then you have ARK Invest over here. They just spent half a million dollars. They just sent... They're just spending like 10, 12 million dollars on Palantir in a single day. And this is the most buying they've ever done since all of back in mid-November. It's really up to you to decide which analyst is correct. But here's the thing. I think the best track record is most likely ARK Invest. When you see someone actually putting their own money where their mouth is, that's what really counts. Because ARK Invest is putting a ton of money into Palantir. And they bought so many shares all in a single day. I think something is definitely up with Palantir, so definitely consider. Now, obviously, Palantir, they do have other stuff on Twitter going on. For example, how one of the machines for the pandemic, some of the Democrats and also some of the government officials are saying how you shouldn't really use it and how it has a lot of errors and flaws. That's a major pullback as well for Palantir. You also have a lot of other hedge funds and also big banks downgrading the stock to sell, which is also a really bad thing. But let's just see what happens. I think Palantir already has enough punishment. These guys did go from a really high price tag to a really low price tag and have actually stabilized around this region. So companies actually feel that Palantir is worth a $40 billion market cap. And Palantir really hasn't been moved that much. If it really was a bad company, we should be seeing the stock price drop to like $14, $15. But because Palantir is a good company, it's a very unique and special company with very good products that people can't replicate. The stock price is actually stabilizing around this region, which is very, very unique. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Look at all the information. Do your own information and DD. If you guys like Palantir, definitely open a position in it. Thanks for watching.